Can I get a heat check? Heat check. What? What's going on, y'all, man? It's official. Dre live, right? And as y'all see, I got another. Um, I got another reaction video. There we go. Feel me? Uh, breaking down the most lethal mid-range killers. K killers? No. Any any OG fans would know my original PSN was Kills Calls Back, you feel me? Ugh, the original, you know the but you know that's for a later day. Anyways, man, if you do like reaction videos, man, you like, you know, uh these type of videos, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications and comment down below comment down below a way I can improve on my channel. Huh. With that being said, man, without any more hold up, bro, let's get into the reactions, y'all. Butler drives, fades away, the shot, bang. When the game slows down, when the defense gets tough and you need a bucket, a reliable mid-range shot will do a lot for you. But I'm sure you'll be surprised to find out that with just 0.9 makes per game from mid-range last season and at only 31%, he's nowhere near the top of this list. So to get to the cream of the crop, I set the following parameters. The what players with say? the most makes from this area shooting at least 45%. Can you guess who the top 5 mid-range killers are? Let's find out and break down exactly how they get those buckets. Real quick, gotta say it, I love his videos, bro. I love, I love, I, I love this man's videos. Get like Coop and and Mike Korzimba. I love all their videos, bro. What up, everybody? My name is Stefan, and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Let's start off with an honorable mention. Lamarcus Aldridge has the lowest percentage in this group, just a hair under 45%, but the most makes per game. So we That's gotta include him here. Bro. He loves posting up on the left block, and from there, it's a turnaround fadeaway that is almost unguardable. As you can see, many of these are heavily contested, but that doesn't bother Lamarcus at all, as he's been doing this throughout his entire career. Top tier. Another thing that he's deadly at is this top of the key pick and pop action. So if the opposing big man is late coming out, this is an automatic bucket. Mm. Moving on to the official top 5, and we have his teammate here, DeMar DeRozan. The way sense. he moves is just beautiful to me honestly. He can shoot a picture perfect fadeaway and splash it, and he can pull up off the dribble as you can see right here. And DeRozan is also one of the guys who use the step back, or even the newer version, the side step back before the shot. Man, I love his game. Fun fact, the dude shot a career high 53.1% from the field by picking his spots and being extremely efficient with a shot. People completely forgot about him. Number 4. Devin Booker is a sniper. The fact that almost all of his shots are heavily contested and he's double and triple teamed as you can see all the time as the only dangerous guy in Phoenix make these points that much more valuable. That's why I'm very excited for the arrival of Chris Paul to this team. I feel like it will allow Booker that much more room for improvement both in terms of spacing and from what he'll learn from the point god himself. Hey, also bruh, if y'all think if y'all think the Phoenix Suns are gonna make the playoffs just from getting Chris Paul, man, that's 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 gonna be crazy. I mean, he did carry the Thunder. He did carry the Thunder to the playoffs in seven games. So, bruh, he got he got a little bit more of a team around him, and he got some shooters. Man, I don't know Chris Paul, bruh. I don't know, bruh. Phoenix Suns haven't made the playoffs since Steve Nash was playing. I don't know, trash team. Coming off of a dribble handoff, CJ McCollum is unstoppable. He moves great both with and Ooh. without the ball, always among the players with the most distance ran per game. And combine that with the silky smooth jumper at 49%, he's completely deserving of this top 3 spot in the mid-range area. But don't get it twisted, the guy has handles and he's deadly off the dribble pull up as well as you can see right here. Top 2 baby, did you forget about Chris Middleton? One of the only two players who shot over 50% from midrange. He loves the elbow area right here but is effective from everywhere really. What I like about him is the fact that he never wastes any dribbles but instead knows exactly what he's gonna do and where he wants to go so he's extremely efficient with his movement. I love these types of players. And finally number 1, I know some of you knew already, none other than CP3. At 35 years of age, Chris Paul shot 
spot a phenomenal 54% from mid-range. You know his classic move where he snakes the pick and roll, gets right here and knocks down the jumper. He knows all the spots, all the tricks and he's been the king of the mid-range throughout his entire career. But to see him still performing at the highest level is incredible. I'm extremely excited to see him paired up with Devin Booker next season and the danger that this duo will present game after game. So there you have it, Kawhi's 43% and Beal's 41% didn't make the list, but I know those were your usual suspects as well. Oh, that's it oh, for yeah. now, subscribe and- Yeah, bro, that's the end of the video, y'all, man. You feel me? Y'all heard what he said, bro. Subscribe to the channel, bro. Obviously, I'll react in the heat check. So, yeah, man. Until next time, though, there's a video on the screen. You should definitely click on that, you feel me? Keep watching the content. But yeah, until next time, man. Peace.